Hi everyone, it's Lee from Gnome and Backyard. And did you get these cute little Halloween bottles at the Dollar Tree for the Halloween season? Well, I absolutely love them and I'm definitely keeping them out for Halloween, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip them over and do a winter craft with them. So the first thing I did was take my white acrylic paint and just painted the basic larger area of them. And you'll see why I only need that area painted. Then I'm taking this fuzzy sock from the Dollar Tree and I am placing it on top of my first bottle. Now I'm leaving, I left the twine on there, I left the little sign that hangs down on the Halloween side because again, if you want to use these again next year, you're not gonna wanna glue this little hat on. I'm gonna glue the hat on, but again, you can use these for Halloween and winter next year. So the next thing I did is I just took two round wood beads. I painted them black with my acrylic paint, and yep, you guys, I'm going to use them for eyes. Now I had this little, um, it's like a cardboard cone. You can get them at the craft shop, but you don't really need to use these. I just happen to have this in my craft, stash so that's what i chose to use and i cut a triangular shape out and then i am painting it with my orange acrylic paint now i'm going to take and cut three of these out right now both um actually all three of them just a little bit different size and a little different shape and i'm painting them all orange ahead of time so again, like I said, you could use cardboard, um, you could use felt, you could use whatever you want. I just wanted these because I wanted them to have a little bit of a 3D look. Now there you saw I did run a little bit of hot glue underneath the brim of my hat and I am hot gluing the eyes on my snowman. But if you wanna use the backside of this for Halloween again next year, don't glue your hat down and it will stay on without gluing it down. Now I had some greenery and a pine cone, a winter pine cone in my craft stash. So I'm grabbing these just to adorn my snowman's hat. You can grab whatever you have laying around. So I am just gonna hot glue them right there in the hat. Oh my goodness, you guys, how sweet is this? And I do have to say these socks from Dollar Tree are my favorites. I love them. They look like popcorn. They come in a variety of different colors. Um, so I like to use them a lot. Now I am taking another plain wood bead and I'm going to glue it on the back of my nose because like I said, I wanted this nose to stand up. I wanted to give it a 3D effect. You don't have to do this, but this works perfect for the look I was trying to achieve. So now I'm just going to hot glue that bead that I hot glued onto my nose right onto my snowman's face. And let me tell you guys, these look so sweet in person. Now just make sure if you're gonna use the other side for Halloween again, you just keep your nose right on your snowman's face. Don't let it go off to the side um, because then you'll see it from the other side. And did you see that guys? He stands up so he is a snowman shelf sitter. So let's do number two. I love this one. I love the shape of my snowman's face. And look at, I grabbed another one of those socks, but it's in a pink and white coloration instead. But I'm just telling you, these socks are so much fun. They give you such a cute winter cozy feel. And again, doing the same thing for the eyes and the nose. Now for my hat, I do wanna add a little bit of an embellishment. And I had this wire with these cute little white pom-poms on them. So I'm just gonna take and glue them to the backside of the bottom of my hat and then just wrap it around and reattach it up at the top just to give him a little bit more detail to his hat. It, they look like little snowballs. They're so cute. And that was purchased at the Dollar Tree, I believe, but it might've been last year. But again, use whatever kind of ribbon you have, use twine, use whatever you have in your craft stash. This craft will not cost you a lot basically you just need these three halloween forms from the dollar tree to start with oh my goodness how cute my second snowman shelf sitter all right let's move on to number three and i grabbed this pink plaid sock i thought this pink plaid sock was really cute too um, and you can see I love these all together as a little snowman trio because the shapes of the faces are all different. And you know what? Yep, let's turn his nose going a different direction. I had this really pretty bright colored snowflake ribbon that I'm going to put around the brim of my hat just to give it a little bit more detail and a little more pop. I love how that looks. And then I did have a little styrofoam glitter snowflake I'm going to attach because it matches my ribbon. 
So again, if you wanted to use the backside for Halloween again next year, you just wouldn't be gluing all of these right to the wood. You'd be gluing them to your sock that you could take on and off. Oh my goodness, you guys, how cute is this trio? I love them. They're amazing. I truly hope you get the chance to go out and craft some for yourself. Thank you so much for continuing to sprinkle all of Gnome and Backyard's videos, and you have yourself a fabulous day.